Hello, my name is Aaron Milstein. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Neuroscience and Cell Biology at Rutgers University. Uh, recently, my colleagues and I at Stanford University published an article in the Journal of Physiology entitled Offline Memory Replay in Recurrent Neuronal Networks Emerges from Constraints on Online Dynamics. Um, and what we're trying to understand here is what are the circuit mechanisms that allow the hippocampus to do something interesting? When an animal explores a spatial environment, uh, neurons in the hippocampus encode features of the sensory world. But when the animal goes to sleep, the hippocampus generates sequences of neuronal activity that, uh, that correspond to um, the animal's experience, including um, paths to a reward, paths backward direction from the reward. Um, so we're trying to understand what uh, features a, ne a neuronal network needs to do this forward and backward uh, offline replay in the absence of sensory input. And we built a computational model of spiking neurons, excitatory and inhibitory cell types. And we found that there are a couple of key ingredients for a network to be able to spontaneously generate these uh, forward and backward memory replay events. There have to be connections between neurons that, um, that correspond to their shared tuning. There have to be uh, the ability for the network to oscillate and spontaneously generate theta oscillations, which are 4 to 10 hertz, and gamma oscillations, which are 50 to 80 hertz or so. And if the excitatory neurons exhibit this property called spike rate adaptation, which is that as neurons continue to fire, the interspike interval uh, gets longer, um, the networks are able to generate these both forward and, and backward replay events. Um, and some extra cool things in the paper include some um, unique approaches to um, analyzing parameter sensitivity and degeneracy of models. We identified um, multiple combinations of uh, network parameters that led to the same behavior. And all of the measurements of offline replay were not built into the optimization constraints uh, uh, in this network. They actually were emergent properties that fell out of the network as long as these other features were, um, were uh, met. Um, so check out the paper and, uh, and I hope you learned something.